Today I'll demystify this little known setting over here, Erg Mode Speed Simulation with the Wahoo Kicker. First up, this toggle box here, be it either on or off, has no impact whatsoever on your ride or ride experience or training with the Wahoo Kicker. It also has no impact on software that uses power to calculate your virtual speed and distance, such as Zwift, Trainer Road, Sofafest, Ruby, and all the works. This is purely for head units that are recording the speed sensor data from the Wahoo Kicker, so from your GPS head unit or basic apps. So first of all, the two options. With Erg Mode Speed Simulation disabled, which is by default, what it actually reports is the flywheel speed of the kicker. You'll see here, as I spin up a little quicker, the speed simply ramps up. It's as easy as that. And if we set Erg Mode to zero watts, we can really get that thing humming and the speed goes through the roof. That's all good and well, but when it relates to erg mode, you could be in the 5311 doing 200 watts or the 3925 doing 200 watts. And that flywheel speed is a lot different. So toggling erg mode speed simulation on for this next example here and starting another workout. Once things stabilize at the start here, you can see the speed's a lot lower and the speed is based on the power that we're doing. So no longer related to the flywheel speed, it's calculating your speed and virtual distance on the effort that you're putting in. Now switching erg mode up to 200 watts in the 5311, with a pretty fast flywheel speed, we can see the speed reported there is about 30 kilometers per hour. Now leaving everything the same and switching to the 3925 up the back, once everything stabilizes, that flywheel speed really slows down, but the speed reported, 30 kilometers an hour. So with erg mode speed simulation turned on, the speed calculation is done based on your power and not that flywheel speed. So there it is, erg mode speed simulation for the Wahoo Kicker. In summary again, it has no impact whatsoever on the ride or ride feel. It's only applicable if you're using the speed sensor data on say your head unit or basic training app. And if you are recording speed from the Kicker, it gives you a more realistic speed and distance value based on the effort that you're doing and not just that flywheel speed. So there we are, hopefully that demystifies what erg mode speed simulation is all about on the Wahoo Kicker. Thanks for watching.